Hello everyone, I am Super Fist Cake, and this is Video Games in 5 Minutes. The quick little show where I present a game in its entirety to you in 5 minutes or less. This week's game is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, an open world action adventure game developed by Monolith Productions. It was released in the fall of 2014 and was met with generally good reviews. We'll get into that later, since we only have 5 minutes, let's get started, shall we? Let's go! Story. The story of Shadow of Mordor takes place in the 60-year gap between The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings series. You play as Talion, a ranger of Gondor that is stationed at the Black Gate of Mordor with his wife and son. The game begins on Talion's worst Monday ever imaginable. The Black Gate gets besieged by the forces of Sauron. Leading the siege are the three assholes of Sauron. The Hammer of Sauron, the Tower of Sauron, and the Black Hand of Sauron. Not only do they kill Talion's wife and kid right in front of him, but they kill him too! Bummer City, population. Italian. Thanks to the ritual sacrifices of Talion's entire family, Kella Brimbar, the OG ringsmith of the Rings of Power, merges with Talion instead of the three assholes of Sauron. So Kella Brimbar and Talion come to a shared body agreement and decide to thwart Sauron's forces and get revenge for the death of Talion's family. Then, they will grant Talion's wish of passing away to be with his dead family. In the quest for revenge, Tala Brimbar come across characters that are new to the series, such as Hyrgon, Talion's old partner from the Black Gate Police Squad, Lothariel, an elf warrior, and Queen Marwyn, an elven queen with a certain familiar ailment. So, so, Saruman! Saruman! However, old faces are lightly seasoned into the game as well, just to remind you that it is a Lord of the Rings game. In between bouts of stabbing orcs and uruks, Talabrim will recover relics of their past to uncover memories of the badass elf lord and access more wraith powers. Strap on your seatbelts for Spoiler Highway! At the very end, you have an epic showdown with a black hand. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the black hand just kills himself so he can suck Celebrimbor into his body. And then at the same time, Sauron decides to possess him, too? So Talion fights Sauron while trying not to bleed out of his neck too much. Thanks to Celebrimbor and Talion's teamwork, they slay Sauron and decide upon staying alive so they can cause more mayhem among Sauron's army. And maybe even make a new ring. Ooh. <laughs> Story's over. Let's move on. Gameplay! The general gameplay of Shadow of Mordor is fairly simple to explain. When you don't want to silently stab someone, or run in with a can of whoop-ass already open, you can access the game's other layer of gameplay, the Nemesis system. Not to be confused with the Resident Evil 3 game, the Nemesis system is a Shadow of Mordor exclusive design in which each prominent orc has its own personality, traits, weaknesses, and even interacts with other orcs in different manners. Just a quick note, on my first playthrough of the game, it took me about 10 hours of orc slaying to encounter an orc that repeated a line a different orc had said before. Holy hell. What you can do to the Nemesis system by the end of the game is amazing. It ranges from being able to simply kill an orc, to brainwashing an entire army of war chiefs, captains, grunts, etc., have them all meet up at the same time, and then blowing up all of their minds at the same time as well. Which you won't see here, because I didn't do it. You can do it, but I just didn't do it. Whatever you want to do to an orc, you can do it in this game. I guess it should be called Orc Class System Torture Simulator 2014 in hindsight. That's the gist of the game, but does it play well? Popular? Opinions! From numerous other review sites that I've read into, Shadow of Mordor has received good reviews and high scores, ranging around the 80 out of 100 or 4 out of 5 model. They all generally agree on the fact that the game's combat is as smooth as Arkham Asylum's, and the stealth system is as good as Assassin's Creed, which is awesome except for random awkward camera angles and bugs. They also agree that the story wasn't exactly the strongest attribute to the game. I'm inclined to agree with them because I'm a total sheep. <laughs> the gameplay was always tight for me, and the game runs smooth even on my not-so-great computer. However, I haven't played on any of the consoles, so I can't say what it is like to play it on them. I had more fun doing the side missions, challenges, and all around just messing around with orcs than I did with the actual story mode. In fact, I only progressed in the story mode so I could get access to the mind control race power. The story started off strong, but it got more boring throughout the game. None of the characters kept me drawn into the story. I'm also not a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan. I didn't read the Silmarillion. Hell, I had to Google how to say it so I don't look like a total ass. I'd say, get this game if it's on sale, especially now that the Game of the Year edition is out. As of this recording, the Game of the Year edition is on sale for Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox, PS4, and PC for around $49.99 American US dollars. Thank you all Fizzcakers for watching this episode. It really means a lot for you to stick through the entire thing because this takes a lot of time to make, believe it or not. I do everything by myself, so yeah. I have friends, shut up. I will say my buddy Spencer from Neanderthal Gaming made the thumbnail for the clip, so you should check them out over here. They do streams and play various games. I think they're going through a Smash Brothers frenzy right now. If you want to check out my other videos and all the other amazing things I do, check my links out in the description below. If you think I did a good job, then comment, share, like, do everything you can to share the video, because I that's how I know I'm doing a good job if, if you like the video and you share it with your friends, your friends like it, and all that stuff. And if you want to talk to me, just comment below. 
That's all for this video. I'll see you fist kickers in a couple of weeks. Bye bye